हेलो स्टूडेंट गुड मॉर्निंग आई एम डॉक्टर अजय कुमार सिन्हा टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस बिहेवियर ऑफ रियल गैसेस डेविया एंड डेविएशन फ्रॉम आइडियल गैस बिहेवियर दिस इज वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक बिहेवियर ऑफ रियल गैसेस deviation from ideal gas behavior all gases particularly real gases don't follow ideal gases that's why topic has been given behavior of real gases why real gases do not follow ideal gases this is the important things and related to that explanation is required this is very very conceptual and uh, this has been uh, uh, this uh, you can understand by the plot two plots are there you can understand by use of two plot two graph first graph is related to pv versus p pv versus p that is graph 1 and other graph is pressure versus volume pressure versus volume then by the this two graph by the study of this two graph we can we can explain or we can understand the behavior by this two graph first we will understand the behavior why they are showing this type of uh, nature actually nature of graph is uh, different from the ideal gas in each gra- graph one graph is for ideal gas and other are for real gases you will compare both both then you will find that real gases are deviating from ideal gas means this graph is comparative one is there it will show one line a straight line parallel to x axis that will show the ideal gas means ideal gas you know that pv versus pv versus uh, P, pv at constant temperature should be at constant temperature should be constant pv value should be constant at constant temperature you know and uh, <clears throat> then here ideal gas behavior because its value is constant then it is parallel to x axis straight line parallel to x axis but for real gases real gases examples are carbon monoxide methane gas hydrogen helium these are the real gases in there is also two categories are there one may be temporary gas other will be permanent then carbon monoxide and methane this is temporary gas you can tell because this will change their behavior fast they will change the behavior fast you can tell that carbon monoxide methane ammonia other chlorine other gases uh, that these are the temporary gases their behavior will be different from the permanent permanent example example of permanent gas that is the hydrogen gas helium gas oxygen gas nitrogen gas these are permanent gas why this also come under real but again there is a deviation between temporary and permanent then these four gases what i told you helium gas hydrogen gas nitrogen gas oxygen gas these are permanent gases 
Why? Because always they will exist in the form of gas only. They will exist in the form of gas only. It will not liquefy so easily. But other gases to whom we are telling temporary, they can liquefy easily. That's why their phase phase will change from gas to liquid. Under certain condition, they will liquefy easily. That's why it is called temporary gas. But both are coming under the temporary gas and permanent gas. Both co- both are called real gases. Then, in a two plot, I will tell you. First plot PV versus P, and second plot pressure versus volume. Then first plot you understand. When when uh, for uh, this uh, real gases plot was drawn, then <coughs> it was observed. It was observed that real gases, real gases like carbon monoxide, methane, hydrogen, helium. These four gases. Here we are taking as example. Then their graph is showing behavior. They are showing it is not following the ideal gas. Ideal gas is showing constant. PV is constant, uh, straight line, parallel to x-axis. Then, if you compare with this axis, with this ideal gas, which is constant, uh, constant straight line, parallel to x-axis. If you compare with this ideal gas, ideal gas line, then you will find uh, real gases are deviating from this ideal gas we have here. Then there are two things here. First is a positive deviation, and second is a negative deviation. Negative deviation means ideal gas which is showing a straight line parallel to x-axis. Then these carbon monoxide and methane, they are they are showing negative deviation means they are coming down. They are coming down. Below the ideal gas line, huh. and uh, other two, hydrogen and helium, it is doing positive deviation means above, above ideal gas. Helium and hydrogen it is showing positive deviation means above the ideal gas, and carbon monoxide and methane it is coming down, down the. Ideal gas. Then this is the actually <clears throat> when a, a plot was uh, drawn, then it was showing like that. Then this is actually ex- actually experimental value. When data was collected, then they have shown this type of nature of real gases and ideal gases. Ideal gases is they know that no gas is ideal, no gas is ideal. Only it is the condition. No example of ideal gas. Any gas which follow uh, ideal gas equation, they are called ideal gas. There is no ideal gas existing actually. Real gases are existing, but any gas which follow the ideal gas. Equation, PV is equal to n R T. That is called that. That is called that time. That this is the conditional. That time it will be called ideal. Otherwise, real gases. Then this I have told about the plot one, and uh, now plot uh, plot two. Plot two I will. Tell you actually both graph I will try to give in the video by seeing you can understand. Now second graph P that is the pressure versus volume. Here real gases at high pressure particularly at high pressure they are showing differences. Real gas, real gas and ideal gas behavior. 
at high pressure more differences are there there is a change in volume there is a change in volume at high pressure real gases or ideal gases gases they are showing you can say main change at high pressure and uh, as the pressure will decrease then they are coinciding to each other they are coinciding to each other when pressure is coming down means at normal pressure normal pressure they are coinciding no differences in real gases and ideal gases they show differences only at high pressure at high pressure then now question arises why why so much uh, you can say differences are there when they are at high pressure they are showing different behavior when they are at uh, normal pressure means low pressure then they are coinciding they are matching only at high pressure both are differing then this is the i can say main uh, differences huh? that is the behavior change of real gas and ideal gas then it is found that real gases do not follow boyle's law charles law and avogadro's law perfectly they are not following under all conditions then now two question arises first question why do gases deviate from the ideal behavior and second question why what are the condition under which gases deviate from ideality these two questions are there then to understand these things to answer this question you have to you have to come you have to consider the this kinetic theory of gases assumption of kinetic theory of gases that time i have told you two assumptions are not following there is a uh, this out of seven assumption first two assumption is not fully valid okay then what was the that two assumption then uh, first assumption was there there is a no force of attraction between the molecules of gas here here contradiction is there this point and second point volume of the molecules of a gas is negligibly small in comparison to the in comparison to the space occupied by the gas these two points what i told you now are the assumption assumption that is the kinetic in kinetic theory of gases these are the assumption first assumption is that this only there is no there is no force of attraction between the molecular molecules of gas and second volume of the molecules of a gas is negligibly small in comparison to the space occupied by the occupied by the gas okay these two are the assumption and these two only are the responsible these two points are only responsible for uh, differences in behavior behavior between real gas and ideal gas these two points okay question is asked also only on these two concept if assumption a is correct now you can see two assumption i told you a and b if assumption first assumption that there is a no force of attraction between the molecules of gas if this is correct then the gas will never liquefy if first assumption is correct then gas never will liquefy what we know that gases liquefy it means that assumption is not correct okay we know that gases do liquefy when cooled and compressed also liquids forms are very very uh, very difficult 
to compress if liquid formed then liquid you can't compress it is very difficult to compress why it is difficult to compress once already told you answer because that uh, in the when uh, it will liquefy it means it means uh, molecules will come closer to each other then repulsive force will act repulsive will be more that's why you can't compress it okay this means that force of uh, force of repulsions are powerful enough and prevent a uh, squeezing of molecules in tiny volume tiny volume that's why it is difficult to compress the liquid if assumption b means second assumption second assumption assumption that volume of the molecule of gas is negligibly small in comparison to the space occupied by the gas this also is not fully correct Mole, molecules volume of the molecules itself if container suppose big container is there and then molecules will go here and there they will occupy the volume of the container container but if we will collect all molecules close to each other just like bees b double e s when it will fly it will cover very big big area but if they will sit together uh, honey bees i am talking about then they will they will just only in a small place and uh, molecules you can understand like that in container even big containers there their molecules will be running here and there and it will cover entire container but it will collect all then they will then they will come closer to each other then they will have some volume they will the molecules itself they will have some volume then this volume is not negligible they also have some volume this is the important point i have told you okay hence second assumption is also not valid on this ground because molecules itself they were when uh, we can say pressure will be very high pressure will be very high then all molecules will come closer then that time it molecules will have some volume molecules will have some volume itself they have some volume you can't ignore then second assumption is also due to this reason is not fully valid now this i have told you that two exam there is a questions on two exams and they are not fully valid then now you think uh, other things here actually from this what i am going to discuss that that is explanation explanation of the uh, why the real gas and ideal gas vary Uh, we have a change on that explanation i will give you and only here that uh, i will derive the equation equation very very important equation equation for real gases that is also called van der waal equation van der waal equation you will make some change in ideal gas because real gases do not follow the ideal gas then in that ideal gas we will make some change and then that ideal gas will also after the change real gas will also follow if we will make some change in ideal gas then that ideal gas this real gas also will follow this ideal gas after some change then what are that change then there are two change first change in pressure and other change in volume two change is also called two correction first correction in pressure and other correction in volume then if these two correction you feel make in the ideal gas equation then it is called real gas equation or also called van der waal 
equation and then it this equation will uh, real gases will follow this equation okay then what corrections are there now i am going to discuss and that is also expl explanation for behavior behavior change or why real gases and ideal gases are behaving differently that explanation now we will get now you listen carefully real gases show deviation from ideal gas law because molecules interact with each other at high pressure at high pressure molecules of gases are very close to each other molecular interaction start operating at high pressure molecules do not strike the wall of the container with full impact because these are dragged back by other molecules due to molecular attractive force this affect this affect the pressure exerted by molecules on the wall of the container thus the pressure exerted by the gas is lower than the pressure exerted by ideal gas here uh, this due to this uh, gas we are always they will collide with the walls of the container and they will exert pressure then in ideal gas it was considered that there is a no attractive force but here is attractive force that's why they are dragging behind hence they are not striking the wall with more speed because some attractive force are working they are attracting molecules as they are striking the wall little slowly hence if if uh, there if suppose uh, there was no attractive force then they would have striked fast and then more pressure was there but here actually in real gases they are striking slowly because of this attractive force then what force it is decreasing if uh, if suppose all were uh, ideal then they would have exerted more pressure but now it is less pressure then how much difference how much forces are less how much pressure is less for that you have to make one correction that due to the attractive forces then that correct that uh, term is actually that pressure pressure depends upon the two things two things number of number of molecules number of moles you can tell number of moles striking on the container and second what is the volume of container volume of container and number of moles this depends upon two things and also you are understand in other way that density it depends upon the density then density formula you know mass y volume and mass is directly related to moles ha uh, mass is related to number of moles if number of number of moles are more than mass will be more if number of moles are less number of moles are less than mass will be less then you can tell density it uh, that uh, pressure depends upon the density uh, in then here density is equal to mass y volume you can tell n upon v n upon v okay then now here uh, pressure depends upon directly it is directly related uh, directly related to n and v n upon v pressure is directly related to n upon v but here in this case here uh, pressure na no, it is exerting pressure then the pressure now two times density is working first time 
that uh, how many how many moles are striking on the walls you know, first density there and uh, second in container how many what was the volume of container and how many moles were there that is the first things that is also density n upon v and second out of that how many are striking a striking time what is the density a striking time what is the density hence and most both are equal hence two times you have to density two times you have to consider means n upon v into n upon v then it will become n square b square proportional to n square pressure pressure is proportional to n square b square okay then this pressure n s a small pressure is called correction you are doing correction in pressure then a small p is directly proportional to n square b square then if you want to bring it in equal in equals if a proportionality sign wants to convert in equality then you have to multiply by a constant that is a small a a small a then it will come p is equal to a into n square divided by b square then this correction term a small p you have to add in ideal ideal gas equation pv is equal to rt was there now for one mole of gas or pv is equal to n rt then now in the place of p you have to write capital p plus a small p capital p a small plus a small p this a small p is due to the you can say correction pressure correction because why because uh, all molecules were molecules were uh, this thing uh, speed of the molecules were decreasing due to the attractive force uh, and for that purpose a small p you have added then now one term you have corrected pressure term you have corrected p plus a small p now second correction term is volume volume you know you know that uh, uh, this uh, volume of molecules in container molecules are there then these molecules also have some volume if they get high pressure and and if you will compress all molecules will come together close very close then now they they will not touch to each other due to the repulsive forces keep in mind for attractive forces repulsive forces both works that all will come closer but they will not touch to each other due to the repulsive forces okay then they have a small volume because now they are not moving that high pressure molecules will not able to move because they are very close to each other but in normal condition they were moving air and there in entire volume that time volume was complete capital b now when at high pressure that molecules came closer to each other now they are not in a position to move here and there then this volume whatever a small a small b you can or uh, b a small b a b na that a small b you think is the volume volume of the molecules itself then it means in this volume molecules can't move other volume they were moving <coughs> means what we were thinking in a normal case that volume was more <coughs> in ideal gases what we consider volume that was more but actual volume was you just minus the volume of you do the minus the volume of molecules itself in that it was not moving okay that's why actual volume was b minus b minus b a small b a small b that is the correct volume because 
हाउ दे विल मूव वेन दे आर ए क्लोज टू इट सेल्फ है देन दे आर ओनली मोलिकुल्स विल यू दे आर इन दैट एरिया दे कांट इन दैट स्मॉल एरिया दे कांट मूव हेंस मूविंग वॉल्यूम इज कैपिटल वी माइनस स्मॉल वी करेक्ट बट इट मीन्स दैट दिस वॉल्यूम दिस वॉल्यूम है स्मॉल यू कैन से स्मॉल वॉल्यूम then this also uh, volume depends upon the number of moles number of moles number of moles are less or more if moles than more volume less means less volume that's why n you can consider small n suppose is the number of small n is the number of uh, suppose uh, moles number of moles then here also that volume depends upon n directly proportional to n that volume directly depends upon the number of moles then again if you want to convert it into equality you have to multiply with some constant suppose b what i told in the beginning now uh, you that b actually that is the constant then now n into a small b A small b is the constant. Then n b together n b is the volume. A small volume. N b now it became the a small volume. Correction in the volume term. Big b. We were thinking that volume is b where molecules can move. But actually in this in this a small volume, which is the volume of molecules itself, there they can't move. That's why that volume you have to decrease. subtract then after subtracting the new volume will be b minus nb nb that is the correct volume then now this volume we have to write in the ideal gas equation means in the place of b now you decrease a small volume nb the new volume will be b minus nb that is the correct volume now in the pressure correction term you have corrected p plus a small p and uh, in volume term v minus nb then this is the correct law p plus a small p into v minus nb in bracket you can write v minus nb and one bracket p plus p p plus a small p in one bracket into b minus n b in second bracket okay this is the correction you have done then p b is equal to n r t now we can write p plus p p plus p into b minus n b that is equal to n r t this is called the van der waal equation or real gas equation okay this i have discussed you and also you should understand uh this thing sir i told you uh, this and one more thing correction term as for the small p you have written uh, that is the n square upon v square means uh, s a uh, constant with constant a n square v square a n square v square then in the place of a small p you can write then p plus a n square divided by v square and for the volume already we written b minus n b that is equal to n r t then this is the i can say real gas real gas equation or van der waal equation this is very very important relation i have derived okay constant a and b are called van der waal constant and their values depends on the characteristics of a gas value of a is a measure of magnitude of intermolecular attractive force within the gas and is independent of temperature and pressure this is important things a value constant a is independent of temperature and pressure question is asked 
also at very low temperature intermolecular forces become significant i have discussed in the beginning at high pressure now think for the low pressure uh, uh, high pressure now at think for the low temperature low temperature what happens molecules will be moving always na no? due to the kinetic energy but now if temperature is low then their movement will stop or become very slow then actually here only i want to tell you it will help you in the next when i will discuss uh, Uh, liquefaction. That time it will understand very easily. Two things you understand: who can control the gas? How will you control the gas? Then there is a two technique to control the gas. First technique is pressure, and other technique is temperature. If you will apply the more pressure, then volumes will decrease. you want to bring them uh, can say uh, close molecules should come close then only two possibilities that there are. make the pressure high then molecules will come close first things second thing if you if you will uh, re- reduce the temperature then expansion will uh, stop contraction uh, reverse thing will uh, start contraction <clears throat> then by this two ways you can bring the molecules close very important things i have told you then here now we listen at very low temperature intermolecular forces become significant as the molecules travel with low average speed this can be captured by by one another due to the attractive forces real gases show ideal behavior when condition of temperature and pressure are such that the intermolecular forces are practically negligible intermolecular forces are practically negligible only then real gases will behave ideally the real real gases so ideal behavior when pressure approaches zero pressure approaches zero okay or you can tell normal temperature and pressure one atmospheric pressure that is the normal okay then real gases particularly real gases when pressure will become zero that time they will be have ideally today i am stopping only here next class again we will meet you thank you